In some, in some of our previous videos, we've talked about using the editing button and the new page button. In this particular video, I kind of want to mention some of the features that are in the more button. So more often than not, you're going to use the edit button and maybe the new page button. And periodically, though, there's going to be some additional features you want to use with your site, which are going to be found under the more button. If you click in the more button, um, you have kind of three main areas, page actions, page templates, and site actions. So under page actions, one of the things that's kind of handy is that if this is a collaborative site, maybe you and your students are editing it together, which may or may not be your teacher web page, you can subscribe to page changes. So what this allows you to do is anytime this page is edited, you'll get an email notification that it's been changed. You also can adjust your overall page settings here. So if I click on that, in this menu it says, you know, I can show the page title, links to subpages, I can determine whether I want to allow comment, comments or not by putting in a little checkbox there. You also in this particular menu um, can go to page templates where you can choose to save an individual page as a template or change the overall page template. You're probably not going to use this a ton, um, but the little bit lower menu site actions might be kind of handy. Similar, similar to subscribing to individual page changes, you can subscribe to overall changes to your site. We've already talked about editing the site layout. This is how you change your navigation bar. Um, and then you have an area that's manage site, which if you open up that particular, that particular menu, you have quite a few options that are here. For instance, you can change your site's name. You can change the categories that it's tagged with and give it an overall description. Um, you also, though, can use these menus off to the left to change the pages and how they're sort of organized within relationship to one another. And also what you can do is look at um, deleting your site altogether. So if you realize down the road, oops, I went to the wrong place. Let me go back to manage site. There we are. You can actually scroll down on this main page where you can change your site's name and actually either copy the site publish it as a site template, like if you want your students to copy it for some reason. This might be helpful if you're doing portfolios with students, or delete the site altogether. So these are just a couple of options that are found up here in the More button. What I always say to people is if the Edit button or the New Page button don't help you or don't have what you're looking for, go ahead and look through the More button and chances are what you're looking for is there. Alright, let me know if you have any questions.